Hey everybody, welcome back to Paleo Profiles. Today we are checking out this beautiful depiction of an Allosaurus by Fabio Pastori. And I know what you guys are going to say, Keegan, another large theropod that starts with the letter A. And I know, I promise, this is not going to be a habit, it's not just going to be Paleo Profiles discussing animals, especially large theropods, starting with the letter A. To be fair, and truthfully, this was going to be a different dinosaur that did not start with the letter A. But, truthfully, we were out shopping and we happened to stop by the Morrison Natural History Museum in Morrison, Colorado. Which is a museum you guys should be pretty well aware of if you've kept up with our channel or our Instagram. It's one of our favorite museums and we just we really love to promote it and try to show you guys just all the amazing exhibits they have and you guys really should go check them out. But anyways, yes, we were in there walking around. And I saw this beautiful Allosaurus. There were some other ones. Came down between this one and another pretty iconic Jurassic dinosaur. But in the end, I just could not pass up this Allosaurus. I mean, it's so awesome. And it even reminded me of how they posed the Allosaurus skull at that Morrison Natural History Museum. As you can see with this kind of comparison here. Another great piece of artwork to add to the collection. But I'm guessing you guys might have actually have seen this artist's work before. And perhaps just didn't recognize the name. There was a pretty big book that came out not too long ago. Called Dinosaurs the Grand Tour. That showcased Fabio's art. And I mean just look how beautiful that Cryolophosaurus looks. And then again there is a second edition. And look how beautiful that Tyrannosaur looks. So Allosaurus has really become one of the quintessential dinosaurs. I mean I think if you're growing up and you're intrigued in dinosaurs. Or even if you ask somebody that perhaps doesn't know a lot about dinosaurs, they might think of Allosaurus. I mean, yes, you get your superstars like Tyrannosaurus, Triceratops, people might think of like long necked sauropods, but Allosaurus is really in the pop culture. So when I say Allosaurus, you might just think it's a single animal. But what's really cool is within the genus Allosaurus, there's actually three species. There's Allosaurus fragilis, Allosaurus europaeus, and Allosaurus gemedseni. And this theropod could actually get pretty large, with larger documented individuals reaching anywhere from 8 to 10 meters in length. And man, that one at the American Museum is massive. Though some speculate that Allosaurus could have gotten even bigger up to 40 feet in length, which could be strengthened if Saurophaganax was not its own distinct genus, but just another species within Allosaurus being Allosaurus maximus. Now being that there are two species of Allosaurus within North America, you may be wondering how you can tell the difference between the two. Now two of the differences that might be easier to pick up on is the slant in the jugal, which is the bone right here, being less slanted in Gemedseni than Fragilis. And also in Gemedseni there's some thin blade-like crests that go from about here all the way up. And those are two of the autopomorphies that help distinguish the two species of Allosaurus outside of like time and locale. Now looking at this picture itself we see two individuals. Now perhaps this is the same individual and is just showing the growth stages or it can be an adult and its offspring. What's really kind of nice is to see the juvenile is not just a carbon copy of the adult. You can see within the juvenile it does have a shorter snout. It also has some longer legs in contrast with its body. Its arms and legs look maybe a little wonky and its head is bigger in relative size again to its body. And to some, there might be some detractors, uh, just do, if you look into the face, there might be some shrink wrapping. You can see some of the openings of the skull. But down, once you get into the body itself, you really don't see that. You see a little bit of ribs, but you really see more muscles. And then you do see some sparse feathering, which on Allosaurus could be controversial. Allosaurus is just a, kind of a weird one, being where its lineage doesn't really have a lot of evidence pointing to feathers. But overall, I really like it. It's this nice red coloring on the mat. You see it just beautifully. Look at the muscle structure. You can actually see some of the... Right here, this one's flexing. You can see all the skin rippling. I mean, it's beautiful. And like I said, it reminds me a lot, especially in the head right here, of the Allosaurus Medseni skull at the Morrison Natural History Museum. So real quick, I'm going to give you just a brief look at the art.
So thank you for joining us on another Paleo Art Profiles episode. As usual, we'll link the artist's information in the description below. Make sure to go check them out. And like I said, also go check out the Morrison Museum of Natural History. It's a wonderful museum. For more Paleo Art Profiles, click that link to your left. For more about what we're doing here at Cools Paranormal, click that link to your right. And don't forget to hit that like and give us a subscribe. And let us know, do you have a favorite art piece by Fabio Pastore? And or a favorite allosaurus, paleo art.